Hey, hello there, everybody. This is your favorite mapper, Kiev Mapping. And I'm here to tell you all that I am completely fucked. I am so <laughs> fucked. Uh, from from the sounds of that, uh, you, you guys are probably you shouldn't expect the Your World chapter coming out this week. I, I I'm probably won't be able to get one out. I haven't worked on it all weekend. If I don't have a Your World chapter finished during the weekend, it is v more than likely not coming out. So yeah, no, there's no Your World chapter this week, unfortunately. It's sort of hard because I have a really heavy week of school. I had a really heavy weekend too, but I also have a really heavy week of school. Yeah, I, it just it's not really going well for me. I didn't really plan it out in advance too well either. So uh, that's that's on me mostly. Like I, I thought I had this all in the bag until I didn't. We, we, I got I got a lot to fix up. All right. However, I am very happy to say that I might be able to get out another video this week instead. And that would be Red Agenda. Now, I, I think I'm at the point where if I spend another week, another good week on that video, I think I might be able to get it out. So you guys might be able to see Red Agenda uh, for on Friday. It might be posted on Friday. If not, maybe Saturday. I think I might be able to go for Saturday or Sunday, maybe. I don't know. Somewhere along that weekend, maybe, or Friday, whenever, I might be able to get it out. But other than that, do not expect anything this week, please. So yeah, that's basically it for updates. After Red Agenda, I'm planning on focusing on Caribbean. Hopefully, that should be fun. And then I'm going to hand that series off to Achi because he has actually offered to continue the series for me. How nice of him. And now we get to the part of the video where I explain some whatever. And in this case, I'm going to tell you guys the story of how at least 60 people got sick on a boat simultaneously. I don't even know if I said that right. I feel like my 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 vocabulary is like going out the window here. Alex, please don't fucking quote that on your soundboard. I'm gonna piss on your grave. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Now to uh, put some context into this whole story, our school offers a shit ton of trips, especially in high school. But like one of the big ones that's that's pretty much guaranteed for every middle school student is the grade eight graduation. Now for this trip, all of us had the luxury of going to Boston, Massachusetts, which is not a luxury. It's a hellhole. We were treated to such tours as this Red Sox game and this this other guy who explained how he basically told his stories about like ghosts and how there was a ghost in his car once and he, he the ghost the ghost like warned him of something and it, it really spooked him out however our journey our story lies in one of the most interesting things that happened on that entire trip i'm being sarcastic it was really fucking boring it was a whale tour it was a whale trip. You got on a boat and you sailed out at least, I'd say, 60 kilometers out into the Atlantic. And you got to see some whales. Maybe. Now, automatically going into this, there's already a lot of red flags. For one, I don't think any of the event organizers considered that people may or may not be seasick. I feel like that's a massive red flag considering that you don't want your entire group to be... <laughs> to be sick during your trip <laughs> i feel like that defeats the purpose of it being a nice getaway trip <laughs> so yeah they didn't really consider that at all so by the time we got on this boat this giant boat that was able to fit at least i think i think there was like a hundred of us on it uh, there's probably more people but like at the very least there was around a hundred of us basically what happened was we set sail the boat was going really fucking fast, and even though it was going really fast, it took us around an hour to get to our destination. Now, while this was happening, uh, there, was a, there was a group of people just, there was just people chilling all around, basically. There were some people in the lower decks just uh, chatting and shit and, and on the tables. However, if you were a true lad, you would be on the deck. Now, unfortunately, the deck came with a giant drawback while the uh, boat was moving, and that was the fact that it was incredibly fucking windy. Uh, so much so that uh, a lot of people got cold just from that, and that alone probably made at least 
15 of the people on that boat sick, but also the, the waves were really intense during that entire thing. So there was a lot of swaying with the boat and that probably caused a lot of people to get motion sick or, or seasick. Yeah. And once we got there after an hour and a half, it was, it, we literally just saw some whales. We saw a couple whales and that was, that was, that was it. We literally went all that distance just to see a couple whales. And I, I, I don't even think I could have seen the, the whales well because everyone was like crowded around. It was all, eh. And then we had to go all the way back. If you were not seasick yet, you were going to be seasick. Now, by the time all of this happened and we finally got off of the boat, uh, I'm pretty sure it's safe on saying that at least 40 people were seasick from that experience. It was so bad, in fact, that we had to take like at least an hour's break just to recuperate. One of the events that we were literally supposed to go to ended up being canceled because half of us, half of the fucking students were sick. And uh, if you guys are wondering if I ended up getting sick from this, uh, no, I didn't get sick from it. Instead, about a couple days later, I got sick from the people being sick. You see, that's at least a better excuse. <laughs> that's a better way to get sick than being on a boat. Am I fucking right? Ah, <laughs> uh, poor planning. You gotta love it. I wonder how many complaints my school got just because of that whole trip. But yeah, I just wanted to tell that story because I really didn't have any other ideas with this commentary. And plus, I thought it'd be a fun idea to tell because uh, I realized during my Q&A stream that this this event happened. And I said to myself, we're going to mention that in the commentary video. It's going to be a full story time animation country ball uh, bed wars uh, session thing. I'm going to just I'm just going to leave you guys here. I'm I'm I need to fucking. I need to suffer alone. Goodbye.